Welcome back to CapCast. It's the fourth podcast. We're here already. Oh my god. Well, today it's only your host, Cody, and the other greatest and the best and the hostess of the best. You know, I gotta reuse all the words because, you know, I have no greater vocabulary and I don't know what to think of. It's Alex, my boy. What's up, guys? So, it's kind of like a shorter podcast on the side today where we're just kind of talking about how, like, AI is working and how we see the overall market shifting. And we have kind of a couple inputs that we want to put out there and what we think you guys should be keeping an eye out. Um, Alex saw, was it called the Q3? By Facebook? Uh, yep. The Q3. Yeah. Q3. The Q3 released a lot of information talking about, like, AI, arti- artificial intelligence, if anybody knows what that is. Well, it's more of the, fa- yeah, kind of the, the Facebook update. It, it's, it's the AI of Facebook messaging bots, basically. And we're going into this, basically, this whole new era of AI marketing. So there's, like, a lot of conflicts to this because of all of the scary Terminator movies and Matrix and all this stuff that we've watched. Hashtag Skynet's gonna happen all over again. Not really, but, you know. Hope not. <laughs> but we actually think the beneficial possibilities of AI actually doing a lot of the different tasks and work that's at hand, because basically it's a machine that we can program that will never stop working. And this cancels out a lot of the needed things, so people can follow more of their passion things instead of doing the min- like the minuscule tasks throughout day-to-day. Like, who wants to spend, like... If you're a telemarketer, fucking eight hours doing 500 calls a day, where you're getting like, oh, no, sorry, don't want to talk to you. Oh, yeah. What happens if you have like an artificial intelligence that is like messaging you? Yeah, and like hold on there for just a second because you're like, oh, I'm talking to a fucking machine. Okay, but what happens if this machine gives you more feely type of, oh shit, this feels more lifelike. And then when you want to close out the deal with the machine, if you actually want the product or service, then boom, brings you to a representative who's a closer. It eliminates the task of, oh, if you don't want it, boom, we, it's instantly gone. The bot's gone. It moves on. And it brings it to the more of the new market called the pole market. I'm not sure if like a lot of people have heard of the pole market, but with the way things are changing, the way society's changing, with everybody wants to save time, if something's a time saver, People are going to use it. Like, something that we brought up last time, Facebook and Twitter and, like, Instagram, The more the, there's more things being searched up on there now. It's crazy. Some of the search has gone down on Google because of that. It's, it's freaking insane. We're very curious on how AI is going to work out. So, Alex, how did you get into it, my man? Yeah, well, I, I just found an article about it. And they were talking about the uh, AI on Facebook in a, a, well, you know how Messenger has changed over the couple past of year? Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, no, you, there's a lot of things you can do on Messenger, like, the, it's not only just for talking to someone, like, there's a lot of functionalities. And now, what you can do is actually get a AI to answer everyone that want to talk to your page. Like, for example, if you go on our page and you you start typing something someone's going to answer you right away but it won't be us it will be the ai the bot and and it's going to be stated that it is the ai bot yeah, yeah but i want you guys to think about the possibilities of where we can go with ai just if we're already having these minimum talents doing it like the progress of this is, i think in the next 10 years this is going to be the whole next marketing scheme it's going to be ai marketing like some of the prices that AI bots are going for right now on Facebook, ugh, ugh, it's disgusting, Alex, right? It's $10,000 to $100,000 yeah. for a single AI. We're not selling ours at the moment because we're developing ours a lot more and we want to have a more foundation-based artificial intelligence so it feels more human-like. So, you know, if you go tell it to kill itself, it, it, it'll be like, I hope you have a nice day. Here's the garbage can. You know? We could do something funny like that, you know? If you're a bit hateful, you, you, you can go away. But I, I really do think this is going to be the next huge marketing platform because it's going to help push it. It's going to save people time, and that's one of the biggest things. That's why Uber's so successful. That's why Facebook's so successful. That's why so many of the new things are a lot more successful. Why? Because it saves time. Why does nobody 
watch commercials anymore on TV because there's DVR on command, all these other things that save you people time. Why do people use all cell phones now and nobody has a house phone? Because it saves you time. Like, the be real, it's how much is your time worth to you? And it's not, the, like, the older you get, it's not about the money, it's more of how much is your time worth? And that comes down to a very heavy subject. Because it's very valuable life, and you only get one of them, so what do you want to spend your time doing? It? And if, like, say you like sleep, and you love it, and you need, like, 10 hours a night, don't get me wrong, some people do need that. Then you take that, but you gotta be able to, like, adjust your time properly for other things that you're gonna be doing, and make sure that you're not spread out too thin. So... Yeah, I think someone working for you during the, the night when you're sleeping is actually a pretty good thing, since you're not wasting your time sleeping. There's actually something going on still, so... There it is. Yeah. And that's the whole point of the AI. It basically equals, like, 15 people. It's not gonna do the more harder tasks that we, we are assigned ourselves, where we make the final decision, but the way we program it is to look only a certain way. But that's what I think with it. Um, we're talking about a lot of the new marketing platforms and a lot of the new ways that basically technology is going towards, because we know Facebook and Instagram and Twitter is not going to be the main source of social advertising. Right now it is. Right now it's going to be the biggest thing for the next five years, guaranteed. But what's going to be the next? Because if we want to keep being more successful, if we want to keep doing well for a company, if we want to keep landing the deals that we keep landing, then we always need to look for the next step to get to the next stage. Because it's not going to be what got us here right now. It's not going to get us where we need to get to. And that's something that a lot of people get too romantic in the way that business works. I think you'd have to agree with me on that, right, Alex? Yeah, yeah. 100%. You can't get comfortable. It's kind of my little bit of rant today, and it's why my energy is a little lower. Is I, have too, I see too many people wasting such great opportunity. And when I say wasting, and I say that very carefully, you have such great opportunity on what you can do, but you're stuck for the way that got you there when you can go so much further with the talent that you have. That's what I mean by wasting. Because I, I just see so much potential in so many different people that they get stalemated. And I just want to help that. Also, we started a calf French side to our entire company. You guys should definitely go check that out. We're going to be having a French podcast in the next following months, depending on how our system's set up for that. So we can yeah. touch on the Canadian, Canadian ecosystem a lot more and connect with people that are in the French area in Quebec, because that's where we're located out of. Um, a lot of our team members that are with us, not everybody is located out of Canada, and we love to have each one of them there, here. Like, the team that we have and the team that we're developing is more of who they are and how hard they work, because I don't care if you can lend me a million deals. It depends on how good you are. And sorry that I'm getting off topic. I just like talking about my company, man. Like, every time I, <laughs> oh, it's my company, man. It's my passion. You know, I, I got this, and I got that, and I got this. It's like, hey, look at this. Because I, I feel like a proud father. And I'm, I'm very happy with how everybody's working, especially the guy who's in this call with me. Fucking we phenomenal are, ideas that are coming are on board. watching our boys growing up. <laughs> a tear drops. <laughs> it's so great to see their success. But it, it really is to see something that I worked very hard on growing starting to come to tuition. And... It's about enjoying the journey. Like, I'm enjoying every pace of it. And the reason why I'm saying the things that are happening is just to say, oh, these things are going to happen because they're already in motion. I don't like to talk about my, like, overall main goals. I just like to talk about the things I'm doing and getting shit done because that's how my dad was. Get her done. That's how he was with me. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get shit done. Same way I try to show to everybody because if, if you act and move on these things, like, yeah, we instantly moved on it. We got into the beta, the beta testing. Not many people got into it. We were lucky. No, we weren't lucky. We were the first. Why are we doing well for a company? Because we're pushing out things that everybody needs. If you like pay attention to the way society's marketing goes and how it revolves, it, already, it has a historic path of repeating itself. Historic. It's just different ways of communication and which, which is going to save you the most time. If AI is going to save you the most time, 
why are you going to do other fashions or not? You're going to do the thing that saves you the most time because that's how humans work. We don't have a lot of time. You don't. The older you get, the more you realize that you have such little time to do the things that you want to do. So you try to do everything as you can. But bringing it back again, just get on board with the things that you're passionate about and follow them to end and follow the new platforms that are coming out. If you're into marketing like we are, then get into the marketing. Follow how things have patterns. It's very easy to start noticing these things. It's very easy to pick up on this if you can see it in an emotional level. Like the spinners, fidget spinners. If you saw that before it got big, it's just like seeing little kids with slime. It's the way people react to things. It's just watch and observe. If you're an observer, you can then click point A to point B and be the middleman. And that's what you need to be. If you want to be a salesperson in marketing. If you're an artist, then create shit that you love because people will always be out there. And if you can't market it properly, then find somebody who's a business partner who can market your stuff. There's so many different opportunities for so many different people. It's just about acting on it and finding out all the possibilities that you can do. Because something you might not be good at, somebody else can and help you monetize your passion. And that's something that I'm big on is finding a way to build a company or do something that you love for the rest of your life and not need to stress about money. Financial freedom. Exactly. Yeah. It's something that a lot of people want. Um, some of some of the people that we're going to be having back on the podcast, um, we're having another musician come onto the podcast, a YouTuber and a businessman come on. So I want you guys to vote in the polls on whose story you guys want to hear about the most and let us know on what you guys enjoy hearing about. What, what are some of the subjects that you guys are interested in? We're probably going to be doing a Q&A as the podcast get more and more developed so we can touch back on the community and so we can hear people's responses on what we're doing. And if anybody has questions about getting their passion started, getting it monetized, how to get it started and where to go, or f feel free to hit us up because we'll help. Um, but like I said, again, vote in the polls. We're going to have the polls going up on whichever you would like to hear first, and we'll see if we can get that first out for you guys. As always, it's great to have you here at CAFCAST, your host, Cody Polsenberg, with the best, the man of the hour. You know, I, I gotta always over-exemplify this guy. Cause he's <laughs> you don't quiet. need to. You don't... Yo, this shit tilts me. Like, my, my blood is curling in its skin because this guy's so quiet. But anyways, <laughs> we love you guys from CAFCAST, and can't wait to see you in the fifth podcast. We're coming at you later. Peace. Hit that subscribe button.